And that, that woman right there, she's so bored, she's... Oh, oh really? No. He's a pinky nose, there are other people present, you know. <laughs> oh. well, there's only one thing to do this. Oh, do we have to? Let's do it. Here we go. are hot. Pick the right person and you can be on your way to middle school dating paradise. But pick the wrong one and you can be on your way to misery, heartbreak, and worst of all, complete humiliation in front of all of your friends. So, are you ready to play? Come on, let's go. We'd like to start off with a little history of how we got here. After all, it wasn't so long ago that most of our encounters with the members of the opposite of sex and a little something like this. expresses affection toward the female.
so we can interview them to see if the time is right. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, why don't we just let Sally and Fred figure out if now's a good time for them to start dating? I mean, what a novel concept. Now, look here. I have this about enough of you. I've been trying to grow your little comment that will come out. But if you can't control yourself, you're going to sit down and wipe it. Now, if you can't be helpful, go sit in the studio audience. Quiet. We were gonna pick some volunteers from our studio audience to see if the time is right. Now, who to pick? Who to pick? You. How about you and you and you? Now come on up here and let's play. The time is right. But first, could you please introduce yourselves to our studio audience? Yeah, my name is Judy. Judy Schultz. And I just want to say... Whoa, hang in there, Judy. We need to introduce our other studio audience members. And your name is? My name is Frank. And I'd like to let all you ladies out there know that I am a veil <laughs> that, That's great. Thanks for that. And, um, how about you? Oh, is anybody in there? So what is it? What's what? Your name. What's up? Hello. Hi, sir. My name is Gorgeous. Hello, Gorgeous. Take it easy, Frank. You're scaring the girl. <laughs> Not to mention every other woman in a five mile radius. Anna. Her name is Anna John. God, what is her problem? 
Well, if I didn't know any better, I'd say Anna has a little stage fright. <laughs> for Fred to go out with Sally. In other words, we need to make sure that he isn't dating anyone else, that he doesn't have a crush on anyone else, that he isn't wanted by the police. Yeah, yeah, I get the idea. And I can tell you a thing or two about Fred. He sure is, he sure doesn't like anyone else right now. And he sure as heck doesn't like anyone else but that stupid Sally girl. Know how I know Fred, huh? I'll tell you how I know. I know because he was going out with me, and I know because he dumped me for her. So he wanted someone quieter and nicer. Now I ask you, do you think that little bimbet over there is quieter or nicer than me? Well, thank you, Judy, for answering our questions. <laughs> Tell me what you think, Anna. Yes, it's great hesitation. 
Well, how about this, Anna? How long have you been telling your friends? Come on, any form of communication will do. Because <coughs> three years. Good girl, Anna, good girl. Now, how about once for dating and twice for hating? Very nice. Let's give a big round of applause for all of Sally's friends. our audience the result of that part of our game. Thing, Brad, it seems that our young friend has arrived with a round of dating survivor getting two dating votes and only one dating vote. So our two well lovers are well on their way. But before they start writing soda and roses, we have one date for Sally and then one for Brad so they can prove that they are dating material. We'll start. Hold on to your love buddies, Brad, and get ready to play Perfect Match. In this game, Find his perfect match. Thanks, Janie. Now let's get ready for it for a minute. And bring down our three lovely contestants. Our first contestant is, of course, Sally. Yes. She's a smart athletic little bookworm whose hobbies include doing smart stuff, being athletic, and being a bookworm. Who writes this stuff? Our next contestant is. Oh no, not Judy. Come on, anybody but Judy. <laughs> yeah, she's a noxious little loudmouth who enjoys stalking Fred, chewing gum like a cow, and generally being annoying. Do I dare ask who the third contestant is? <laughs> Natalie White. Oh no, 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 no! That's sick! She's older than the moment she sandwiched my locker, and she smells just bad. Oh, she's so bitter. No, 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 for once I have to agree with Liz. Well, except for that smell like. Cheese part. <laughs> nah, I think you're just too much for woman, woman for Fred to handle. Now, I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. You can take me! <laughs> now we're gonna get to the third contestant. Anna, forget it, things are bad enough as it is. Uh, um, uh. Cute car girl! Yeah, you get down here, you're gonna be our third contestant. Now, you 
You shouldn't have gone insulting Nana White like that. Sick of Nana. <laughs> Thank you, Nana. And if you took care of the other little matter. Alright, if you could please be so kind as to help Sally into our hot seat. Alright, now, let's begin. Who wants to be a girlfriend? Thank you, Nana. You've been very helpful. Now, why don't you go to shuffle the little cue cards or something? <laughs> now then, Sally, are you ready to begin? Who wants to be a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> then, let's play that game. What? You know, the one I just mentioned. <laughs> Janie, could you please get Nana her medications? <laughs> now then, Sally, let's, uh, let's just get on with it. Now, you must successfully answer these important questions about dating in order to win Fred. Are you ready? I guess so. Good girl. Now, here we go. <clears throat> Question number one. The best way for you to get Fred to ask you out would be A, giggling a lot, B, pretending to be stupid, C, wearing really stupid clothing, or D, all of the above. What? It's very simple, Sally. A, B, C, or D. Which will it be? I don't think any of them. You need to ask the audience. Okay, audience, what do you think? A, B, C, or D? G! G! D! 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 Okay, Sally, you've heard from the audience. Now, what will it be? A, B, C, or D? The audience is saying D. And they're correct. That gives you one correct answer, Sal. May I call you Sal? You just got two more questions to go before you win Fred. Question number two. When going out on a date, the most important thing to remember is A, to make sure all your friends see what you got. B, the guy should always pay. C, to put on enough eyeshadow. Or D, all of the above. I don't think any of those. You're not very good at this, are yourself. So. All right, let's ask your friend. Do we have a friend here in the studio audience who can help Sally? entertain all these people. Jane, go get her. And you, I'm gonna get you.
what was that? I can even watch where you're going. And I have lots of I do. Why couldn't you catch those two? That was what we were supposed to do. Why couldn't I catch those two? At least the people I were chasing are we're already tied up. Uh, that is really pathetic. I never liked you. What? You really know you know that. All that. Right, you are, Brad. Back to you, Brad. And you think it's easy to eat second banana to you? Always have to cover up for your little mistakes? Come here, Uncle. You want to take this yeah, outside? Yeah, yeah, I think I do. Good. Let's have this one for all.
right, to start off our curtain call, I need Andy, the obnoxious audience member, and the rest of his audience. Come on out, take a bow. Oh, Andy was, of course, Antonio Robles, and the audience was Keisha Snyder and Amaya Laura. Okay. Uh, yeah, stay out here, guys. Stay out here. Next, we have the game show contestants of Frank, played by Orion Cox, Judy, played by Victoria Thomas Horton, Connie, played by Angel Frenchman. Alright, thanks for coming everybody. Please enjoy some refreshments out in the main hallway. 